Anthony Slater here with Eric Horn inside the peak after what was probably the Thunder's most impressive performance of the That's season. So. 128, one, uh, 128, 94. They, you know, they're coming in on this four and eight slump. You know, since the All Star break, some really bad losses, including the Timberwolves in here the other night, playing a Blazers team that's playing well, potentially is their first round opponent, uh, and they just they outclassed them tonight. You know, kill, just kind of blasted them throughout. What did you like most about the performance? Uh, I like the contributions from not just the starters, uh, but the bench. Yeah. I like the, the composure from the starters not turning the ball over. Durant and Westbrook only combined for two themselves. What was Westbrook's line? Westbrook was a, uh, just a 17 point, 16 assists, 10 rebounds, and zero turnovers. Zero, zero turnovers. attempted three zero turnovers, and he went 7 of 11 shooting. Almost had a triple-double by the end of the first half. Didn't even need to play in the fourth quarter. Uh, most of all, I like the fire. You wrote a little bit about the fire. Uh, it started with Kevin Durant. Yeah, yeah, late in the first quarter. You know, he, he um, goes to the rim, gets raked across the arm by Myers Leonard, no foul called, uh, yells at the ref, and then, you know, he's getting taken out right around that time, and as he's on the bench, he lets Billy Don He was kind of, you know, I wouldn't say yelled, but told Billy Donovan, hey, you need to mm -hmm. argue for me, basically. Uh, Donovan went down and was trying to tell him, hey, you know, I did talk to the ref, whatever. Uh, but Durant was pretty ticked right then. He was they they were only they were actually losing when that happened, and then Durant returns a couple of minutes later. They're only up one, but he goes to the rim, doesn't get a call. Then Billy Donovan's immediately off the bench yelling. Yeah. There's just suddenly more life in the team. Then Durant hits a three, goes on a personal 8-0 run, turns a one-point lead to a nine-point lead late in the quarter. Then suddenly it's a 26-point lead midway through the second quarter, and then it's all the way to 40 in the third quarter. There's just more communication tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, there was like productive, combative conversations between the team. It's 80 to 48 at one point. They miss a blowout and they're talk, You know, they're yelling at each other. Yeah. They're mad about stuff that you know, two weeks ago, two days ago, they're not mad even though it's the fourth quarter and it's a huge play. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just you had to like what you saw just from an energy and effort standpoint from everyone. Yeah, and a leadership and accountability standpoint, too. Barry Trammell wrote about accountability in, in his column tonight, particularly from Durant and Westbrook. Um, Durant just looked like a, a different kind of player in terms of his accountability tonight. And, and like you were saying, the barking at teammates in a, in a positive, constructive way, getting them to, to put in that effort. And you'd seen the effort from him in the San Antonio game in terms of defense, but it was complete tonight until the, the game was over and closed. And as a result, they didn't even have to play the the fourth quarter to start it. Yeah, you mentioned a little bit the bench production, which was you know was big tonight. And Canner, and his Canner twenty six. Anthony Morrow, I think, to get three or four threes. Randy Foy shot it well. Um, but I mentioned Morrow there, and then the other guy's Cameron Payne. He goes three or three. He's back in the rotation suddenly, yeah. which was interesting. I think moving forward as this team goes to Boston, to Philly, to Indiana. It's going to be interesting to see how what Donovan does with that bench rotation. Yeah, it will be. And Donovan talked about what, what we thought could help the Thunder in that Cameron Payne's a ball handler. And he had Durant yep. overhandling the ball at times in that second unit as the point guard. So bringing Payne back in and getting in those early minutes, it, you, you, Payne came in and showed some maturity tonight. He didn't press a lot. He kind of probed. He would pull the ball back. And that was a lot of the Thunder tonight. A lot of the guys showed a lot of composure that they hadn't on offense in recent games. Yep. Here's Billy Donovan, Kevin Durant, and some others talking about tonight's win. I think I said you know, before the game that um, I feel like we've made some progress coming out of the All-Star break, even though maybe we hadn't gotten some of the results that we, we wanted um, just with the level of teams we've had to play. I think, you know, obviously playing the Clippers in, in Golden State in a back-to-back, -back, and then obviously playing Minnesota and San Antonio back-to-back. -back. And we've played some high-level teams. I think we've gotten better. Uh, you know, tonight I thought we really, really played well. I think it was two games in a row, three games here defensively where I think we continue to get better. I thought offensively we shot the ball better than we had the last two games. Um, I thought we were really unselfish with the ball tonight. Uh, a big key was we had a turnover down. You know, certainly that's been a problem the last couple games. So, you know, again, I think these guys continue to work and try to get better and you know, trying to stretch themselves and continue to get better and improve. And I thought, uh, you know, tonight we, they, they really put, I thought, a complete game together on, on both ends of the floor. Would you say, Billy, that you guys needed this in a sense of it kind of proved to yourselves that your good is still very, very good? Yeah, I don't know, Royce. I don't, I don't really look at it that way. I don't think the guys do either. I think Barry asked me before, and it's a frustration. You know, I think when you've got to, you got to look at the level of opponent that you're playing, the schedule, how challenging it's been. I'm not making excuses. I'm saying that's been good for us. I've said that from day one. The adversity is good because it's shining lights on things that we have to get better at. And 
you know, there's been games where we've been able to turn the ball over a lot and still find a way to win. There's been some games where we haven't rebounded the ball well and we found a way to win. There's been times we've allowed teams to get right back in the game from the three-point line and we found a way to win. But now some of these teams come in the all-star break, we can't get by on that. And I don't know if, I mean, obviously, with as hard as these guys work, you always want the result of winning. But I also think we can't lose sight of, of the big picture for our guys continuing to move and get better as a group. Um, because I think even though we haven't had the results we needed, I still felt like we were playing pretty good basketball. Like I thought the game against San Antonio, where we really struggled against Minnesota, to come back on a back-to-back -back and really play the way they did. Great game for our team. I thought we did a great job coming out competing at a high level, man. Good win for us. How did you guys, turnovers have been a problem several games in a row. How'd you guys limit them tonight? Uh, we move on to the next game, man. This game, gotta enjoy the moment. Just enjoy the process. Come out and play at a high level. We gotta do it every night. That's it. That's what do you think of the play of some of your role players? Cameron Payne, that came in, Amo, that haven't had as many minutes. <clears throat> they did a good job, man. Uh, just taking the shots were open. I think they did a good job of coming in and playing with the, with the right mindset and uh, show tonight. Was it you or Katie that taught us that you stuff? Uh, probably me. I use it a lot more. <laughs> okay. Russ, they had, I think, 22 points in the first six minutes. They only scored eight for the next 12 minutes after that. What changed for you all defensively in that first half? Just uh, locking in defensively. You know, we came out a little slow, kind of trading baskets back and forth. And uh, we had to eventually lock down, and uh, I thought we did a good job of that. Russ, what was it like having Deion Waiters back on the bench tonight for you? I mean, it's good just to, to get him back and you know, knowing that he's all right, doing better. Billy, Russ is one last one. Uh, okay. Rebound short of a triple double in the first half. Okay, you ever seen a stat line like that? I mean, I don't think anybody's done that. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it before from Russell Westbrook. <laughs> Yeah, but I think he's more concerned with how we play. play you know, we played a great first half. You know, Chip Taylor, you know, Chip Taylor, Chip Taylor, Stat Sheet, everybody loves him. Yeah, as I point out, I'm sure he was just worried about how we were playing. We had a great group. And, you know, we had Cruz on a great win. So we needed this win. This team has been playing well. Of course, has been playing well. When they come out here and, uh, and get a nice win, we can sit in the fourth quarter. It's cool. Kevin Billy said he thought you had taken it personal to what the turnovers and, and the sloppy play in recent games. Is, is that sort of the way you took it and make a determination to cut that stuff out? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't call it sloppy. I mean, um, you know, turning the ball over is not I'm just, you know, running down and ball dribbling off my foot or, you know, I'm just throwing it out of bounds. I mean, it's trying to make the right play. But I, I had to realize sometimes I'm trying to force a pass instead of being aggressive be who I am. So I just try to just think the game a little differently. If the shot is there, shoot it. If it's not passing, it, just try to make it as simple as possible. But I wouldn't call it sloppy. It's just, you know, I, I really, you know, there's no good turnovers, but when you're trying to make the right play and trying to get everybody involved, you know, it's a little better than, you know, sloppy turnovers. So I just try to, you know, play patient, play simple, and uh, last few games has been pretty cool for me. You struggled a little bit early, but then folks kept coming back to you. How important was that? For them to trust you, keep coming back to you, give you a chance to get the season high. Well, you, you give me a lot of confidence. You know, okay, whenever I'm out there, you know, my teammates, I'm always giving credit to my teammates. You know, we're making me feel a little bit comfortable out there. So, you know, they just keep, even you know, when I miss shots, you know, they just keep you giving me the ball and just, you know, I'm just, you know, just going out there, just play my game. Tell me about the era step. Man, I think you know what I never done it before in my life in a game, real game. But I just keep watching Russell. The only game, all these Euros, and he just he's coming on the bench. I'm making, I'm saying you're not a Euro man, you're American. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I got the Euro step, but you know I'm just, I'm just you know I just watch them every time when he's doing the Euro step. So I, I got it from you know, Russell. Just just on the court or film, <clears throat> you watch the back. Behind the back pass, too. Is this just you know, stuff you just, see on the court? It came natural. You know, I didn't, I never worked on it. You know, it just came natural, but I missed the dunk. It's okay. <laughs> it was a good move. Durant and Westbrook only combined for two turnovers uh, tonight. That had been a problem. What, were they doing anything different? Or? Well, I think that, you know, the world, you're two, you know, the best scores in the world, you know, just only have two turnovers, you know, you're going to win by 30 40. You know, I think they did an amazing job because they know that they're going to get to double team, triple team, and then they did an amazing job trying to find an open man. And they did a really good job leading this team. And, you know, I'm, I don't know, I mean, you know, they always talk with one defensive one, and I think I feel so much comfort. I you know, just feel a lot of confidence about this. Uh, the, the two superstars, you know, just uh, talking to you about it you know, and give you a lot of confidence. So I just feel a little kind of comfortable in the defensive end. Donovan, uh, after the game, said he thought they probably took it personal the way they've been taking care of the ball. Um, 
Did you get that sense from them that they were ready to put a stop to that? Well, I think I think the moment thing is they were really ready. I, I don't know anything about that, but I think that they came out ready and uh, I think they want to keep playing like that. I just feel this team did an amazing job.